Hello, everyone. Uh, some of you already know me, some don't. So for those um, who don't know me, my name is Gabby, and this is my second masterclass with you. Uh, today, we are going to talk about romance and relationships, uh, considering we in February, and February is the month. So before we, we get started, uh, just a couple of uh, things. Hello, Evelina. Um, now, as I said, you can't say hello to me, but you could introduce yourself in the chat. But before you do so, make sure you set your responses to everyone, okay? Because otherwise, uh, it's just going to be me reading your, your messages. And I expect you to actually be quite active today in the chat because I'll be asking you quite a few questions. So please make sure you, you have set your responses to everyone. And then uh, if you could just very, very quickly say hello to us and tell us where you're joining us from. Evelina, so where are you based? Yeah, come on guys, I'm prompting you. Oh, Lithuania. I can see Ashik, um, Maria, Christina. I'm always confused because um, it's Christina, but for whatever reason, it's you showing us Maria, Christina. India, yes, Ashik, uh, Lithuania. Jing Jing, I can see. Kathy, Kathy, I don't know. So Kathy, where are you joining us from? Quite a few people I haven't, um, I haven't met before. So yeah, so keep introducing the Philippines, beautiful. Keep introducing yourself. Um, and May, hello, May. And um, let me just start by saying that uh, I'm very, very happy to have so many of you here today with us. Um, as I said earlier, the topic today is quite unusual, okay? So um, romance is not your everyday topic, right? So today is your opportunity to talk about relationships and, and romance. Let me share my screen first. Bangladesh, Monsoor, Monsoor, hi Monsoor. Oh, Kathy is from the Philippines as well. Jan Jan, hello. Okay, let me just share my screen. Okay, share. Now, if you could um, just let me know if you can see, oops, whatever has happened. Hold on, just be very patient with me. Okay, I can see the chat. Okay, can you see my screen now? Can you see the screen? Can you see? Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you, Anastasia. Oh, good to have you here as well. Right, okay. Ashik, yes, beautiful. Ah, uh, Ashik, your English is getting better and better by the day. Uh, by the hour, I should say. May, yes, okay. Right. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's start guys. Okay, we only have one hour and there's quite a lot to cover today. I have quite a lot of vocabulary for you. So first of all, as I said, uh, today's topic is romance and romantic relationships. So let me ask you a question to, to get it all started. And if you could just put your answers in the chat. Are you, are you do you consider yourself a romantic person okay so i'm giving you 20 seconds if you could just say yes or no are you romantic anastasia yes you actually you strike me as one um jing jing no jing jing is not a uh, romantic come on ashik i'm not uh elmer yes yes i am so we have um we are kind of divided here now if you asked me, I'm not romantic either, but my husband is. So my next question is, do you think, um, because it's a common mis, or, or let, me, let me rephrase it, do you think men 
or women are more romantic than men. Who is more romantic, men or women? Just put M or W. Who do you think is more romantic, women? Come on, guys, give me a, a villain, you know, women. Women, okay, so you all think women. This is actually not quite, men, says Ashik. Yeah, this is not quite true because I'm not exactly romantic, but my husband is. So it could be both, yeah? Um, Jan saying both. Now, um, so today we, you will have an opportunity to talk about your feelings. Um, so let's start with this one little word, okay? Let's just start with this one. Courtship, okay? So this is the first piece of vocabulary we're going to um, focus on first. So courtship is the time that um, we spend before we get married, we spend together, um, before the relationship is taken further. So now my question is, why do we court people? Why would a boy want to court a girl or a woman um, may want to court a man? Uh, why do we court people? Okay. Um, anybody? Any answers? I know it's a tricky question. Um, it's not an easy question, but why do we actually do it? Do you think, uh, okay, Evelina is saying to know each other better. Okay, to, 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 get to, know, uh, to get to know each other better. How about if I say, okay, yeah, parents don't accept, oh, okay, yeah, that's a good point. How about if I say that we caught um, each other, okay, before we get married, uh, to woo another person. Have you ever heard, have you ever seen this word before? So to woo someone is to get someone to like you, right? So uh, we do a lot of wooing before we actually get together, right? So we make people like us better. So if a boy likes a girl, then the courtship starts in order to woo the girl. Now, um, if you if you look at these three images, okay, I'll just change my pen. Okay. Now, so do you think courtship is overrated? Do you think courtship um, is outdated? Or uh, do you um, do you think do you know anybody who who still believes that courtship is something very very important? Uh, Mom Suri is saying in Bangladesh when parents are not uh, agreed with their relation they go for court marriage. Um, uh, when you say court marriage, ah um, uh, that's tricky. Uh, Monsor, I may actually ask you later, not at this very moment, but maybe later when we have a little bit of to clarify this. If not, then we can talk about it in the next speaking club because I know um, this is also the topic of our next uh, speaking club. Good. So um, we, so do you think, do you think this kind of wooing a girl is outdated. If you look at the three pictures, one, two, three, right? So how do we court a girl? Uh, serenading, right? Buying flowers, uh, taking, um, taking her on a boat, right? So do you think it's outdated? Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? I want you to interact with me. Do you think this kind of courtship is outdated? Yes, it's very important to know more about it. Yeah, Jan Jan is saying, yes, it's outdated. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, nowadays, um, I think young people just take a girl to a rave party, maybe. So this is how they woo a girl. But um, of course, yeah, I'm just being humorous. Okay, guys, so um, let's move on. And what I want you to do now is we're going to start with um, a couple of um, 
words that may be new to you. Um, they are phrasal verbs and idiomatic expressions, and I have four. But to introduce these words, I want you to think of your own experience. So I'm going to ask you two questions, okay? And well, actually four questions. And I would like you to use the chat box to very quickly give me the answers. Yes, no, or not sure. Now, if you put NS or not sure, that will tell me that you are not quite clear what uh, what the, 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 the sentence um, means, what the new vocabulary means. So if you say yes, if you say no, I know you understand. If you say not sure, that will indicate that you don't understand the words I'm trying to teach you, okay? So this will be very, very good for me to know uh, whether you understand it or you don't understand it. So ready, steady, go. The first question is here. So do you think it's possible at all to stay in touch and have a good relationship with one's old flame? Now, do you think it's possible? Yes, no, not sure. Not sure means you are not clear on what old flame means. Not sure, Ashik. Come on, give me more, give me more. Yes, no. Is it possible to stay in touch with your old flame? Can you be on speaking terms? Can you be good friends? You are all saying yes, 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 yes. Hmm, okay. Uh, again, interesting. We can talk about it uh, in the next speaking club. Tony saying not sure. Yeah, my answer would be no, okay? But then again, um, we can talk about it um, when we meet again for the speaking club. Now, next question goes, have you ever been set up on a date? Yes, no, not sure. Yes, 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 no, no. Okay, so this sounds um, to me like you understand it. Now, have you ever been stood up on a date? Uh, not sure, never, <laughs> not sure. Okay, 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 cool, okay. Um, Evelina, no, okay. And the last one, have you ever been a third wheel? Yes, no, not sure. Yes, no, no, never, okay, okay. Well, good for you that you've never, because I have. No, no, okay, so very, very quickly, because it looks like only one of these expressions may be tricky, okay? So we have the three, um, so first of all, let's go back to the old flame. Who's an old flame? An old flame is someone you used to love, um, but you are not together. That's it. Ashik is saying your ex. Yeah, that's that's it. And to be honest, um, I wouldn't stay in touch with my exes. Um, so that's my personal um take on it okay I think it creates a lot of problems you know with your um, current partners but well okay so we have three expressions okay now I'm going to show you a couple of images okay again very 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 quickly what I want you to do is just um, tell me where you would uh, put them so to be set up with somebody, which images would you match? There are two, two for each for each word. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? F is um, saying that's it, okay? So we have F. So very often you could be set up on the blind date, but not necessarily, okay? It doesn't mean that it's a blind date, but your friends are arranging it for you, right? And then A, that's it. Oh, no, 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 not A. Someone is saying, Anastasia is saying A, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, there's another one. Ashik is saying B, that's it. Very good. So matchmaking is just making this happen, right? So someone helps you find a partner. So someone is going to set you up with somebody else and set you up on a date. And this person is called a matchmaker, right? Now, 
to be stirred up. Which ones? Come on, guys. A and B, good. So we have A, that's it. I agree with that. Now, is this woman happy? Is she happy? Clearly she's not. Uh, why? Because someone just stood her up. So her date never showed up. And uh, someone said E, that's it. Very good. Can you see these two people? They are not very happy. So they were supposed to be meeting someone. Um, maybe it was a blind date, but the person never showed up. And we have the third wheel and we already know it's this and this. So you've never had this experience. Um, I have, and let me tell you, it's not a nice experience. You just don't know how to kind of get yourself out of this situation. So, oh, Ashik has um, this experience, ha has had this experience as well. So yeah, so you know how, I, uh, how it feels, Ashik. Very good. Now, guys, so what's going to happen now is um, we, well, I'll, it, I'm going to introduce you to, to some more vocabulary, but I'm going to introduce you to this vocabulary in the context of my friend, whose name is Peter. So I'll be telling you a little story, okay? And um, this way I can show you some nice expressions, okay, relating to romance. Now let's look at Peter. Okay, and it's a real story, by the way. So, now, so this is Peter, and believe it or not, that's me years ago. That's how I used to look, but that's all gone. So, um, this is Peter, and that's me. Now, Peter and I, we go a long way, really, really a long way we've been the best of friends since um i think primary school so we've known each other for a very 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 long time and we've done many things together this is why we go a long way i mean we've done so many things together that uh, um i could say he's my best friend okay so one day we and and that's amy okay we are going to talk about amy soon now um, one day we we went to this party. Okay, we we were in the party, and and that's when Amy came into picture. Now the party that party changed Peter's life forever. Now you may not, if you look at Peter, okay, you can see how dashing he is. And Amy is a rather plain, or he was a rather plain girl. I mean, if you look at Amy, um, she looks a little bit out of place, maybe. It's a party. It was a posh party. Yeah, so Amy was rather plain, a plain looking girl. But Amy is not your average girl. She really is special. Anyway, um, at that time, it just didn't appear like Amy and Peter were likely much. I mean, on the face of it, considering that Peter is was well, he still is so dashing, and Amy so plain. Uh, you just couldn't see this coming. But but then, hey, the heart doesn't choose. So the party changed Peter's life, and I think you get the idea of where I'm trying to take you. So very very quickly now okay i have four sentences here five sentences five statements and what i want you to do is um i'd like you to um to put these sentences in the right order i know that there are some expressions missing but if you could just very very quickly tell me which sentence is first and so on okay what do you think So which do you think I can get you started, okay? So the first sentence is actually number three. That's it, Christina is saying. What do you think, um, which one is the next one? Uh, number five, um, 
I yeah, it could be number five. I think my intention was to have those that you get number two. So he went to a party, right? And then what do you think? Number five, someone is saying. Uh, I what good. I think it was number four. Then number four and number five could actually be interchangeable. And then we have number number one. Now, can you guys guess the missing words? If you can't, I'm going to give you a clue, but perhaps you can guess the missing words. So Peter went to a party, sorry, when he, this is, this is a typo, when he suddenly caught what? So how do we, how do people meet when they go to a party? No idea? Okay. Um, good. Jan Jan is saying caught sight. Very good. So he caught, not an eye, Christina. So he caught sight of Amy. And that means, uh, she learned it from Latin, uh, good for you, Jen Jen. Now, when you catch sight of someone, okay, uh, it's kind of sudden, okay? So you're in the party and there are hundreds of people and suddenly you see this one person. So you catch sight of someone, not attention, okay? Not attention, catch sight. So he caught sight of Amy. He just spotted her in the crowd. Now, Amy caught his... And now, Christina, she caught his eye. So it means he found her attractive. Now, so what did he do? He walked to her to chat her. What did he do? Anybody? Okay. Um, uh, that's it, Anastasia. So you walk up to somebody, right, to start a conversation. So he walked up to her to chat her up. And he immediately felt strongly, okay, uh, and let's leave five. And number one, the last one, they immediately hit it and agreed to meet, meet again. They immediately, not out, okay. So now let's look at these words and let's put them back in the text. So you said, caught sight of Amy, that's it. So. Um, he spotted her in the crowd. Amy caught his eye, so he found her attractive, right? Then he walked up to her to chat her up, right? So you chat somebody up. If you like a person, that's what you do, right? It could be in the party, it could be at a bus stop, right? He immediately felt strongly attracted to her and they hit it off and agreed to meet again. So when two people hit it off, it means that they immediately like each other, just like that, okay? It's a nice feeling though, but um, I don't know about you, but it doesn't happen very often to me, not anymore. Uh, it used to when I was younger, but now, you know, I'm a little bit grumpier and older, so it's different. Cool, so, um, so that's, that's the beginning of the story. Um, so my good old friend, uh, the dashing Peter, um, couldn't control his heart and he fell for Amy. Now, uh, the story to be continued, okay? Peter asked her out, he took her out. And then, guys, what I want you to look at, is this. So he took her out and um, as you already know, they hit it off, okay? So they really had a good time. Peter was drawn to Amy like he had never been to anybody before and there was a lot of electricity, so sparks were flying. So based on, on this, okay, what do you think happened next? So he took her, very good, Anastasia is saying, they started dating. Now, can you think of another word for dating, Anastasia? Because the reason why I, uh, we are talking about it is to go beyond the vocabulary that you already know. 
Can you think of another way of saying um, started dating? If you can't, that's fine. I'll show you in a second. What else do you think you could put here? So they hit it off. Peter is clearly in love and there's a lot of electricity. Now, let me just do that. Okay. So they started seeing each other. Okay, so uh, let me do a pair. Okay, so they started seeing each other. They got good going out. So that means, yeah, so, so it's funny how the simple verb see is used in the English language. So when you are seeing somebody, it means that you're dating. So you could be asking your friend, are you seeing someone at the moment? Oh yeah, I've been seeing him for some time. So seeing someone means going out and dating and it's a lovely way of, of, of saying it. How about this one? They got together, that's it, yeah? So they got, I thought dating is not going out. Is it not? Um, I thought dating, maybe I'm old fashioned, but uh, for me, dating is going out. It's interesting how Jan Jan, you differentiating between the two. So going out could be with your friends as well, right? But when you're dating, you also go out, yeah? So going out, dating, yeah, okay, this could be different. Uh, if you go out with friends, but it could be going out with your um, your girlfriend, and that's dating, is it not? How about this? You become an item with somebody. So you start seeing someone and you become an item. So people refer to you as an item, right? So um, that's, again, that's Peter. But... Um, I love Peter with all my heart, okay? And to be honest, I didn't take to Amy straight away. I didn't quite trust her. So I sounded the alarm bells and I said to Peter, hold on, okay? Things are not um, what you think they are. So I thought Amy was a flirt. And I thought Amy was not, Amy was saying she was in it, but I didn't feel like she was in it. I felt like she was toying, playing with Peter. I felt that she didn't want to take the relationship any further. And she was just kind of killing time with, with Peter. So what do you think I said to him? What do we say in, in, in the circumstances when we think that, um, one of the people in a relationship uh, is not quite serious and it's all a game, uh, in particular, in particular girls. I don't know why, but that's what girls do. So what I said, cheating, okay, not exactly cheating, no, not too early to be cheating on, on, on Peter. They are, this is what I said to Peter. I said, Peter, Okay, hold your horses because she's leading you on. Now, when someone is leading you on, it means that they are giving you the impression that they are interested. Uh, so Amy was giving Peter the impression that he had a chance with her. But I, deep down, I felt that she was just leading him on. She just wanted, you know, some flattery. And so I said, hold on she's leading you on, don't, okay? But Peter was not listening, as was um, really expected. So, um, but then it turned out I was wrong because the relationship was going really, really strong, okay? So uh, it was going really strong, there, and I was very happy for Peter, but there was one thing, there was one thing that I just couldn't uh, stand. Every time the three of us uh, went out, every time we were together, that was what was happening. 
So uh, how do you think it made me feel? Ashik, you will understand because you remember, you know that, right? You've been in this situation. I felt like the third wheel, right? So this display of affection was, was so, um, yeah, kind of one-sided, right? Ashik is saying, like, you feel left out, okay? So they were being all lovey-dovey. Now, we use this expression when people are being very, very affectionate in public places. So like they go to parties or I don't know, they come to your house and they sit on the sofa and they keep, you know, uh, caressing each other and kissing. And, and then you feel like, oh, they're just being all lovey-dovey and it's, I can't, I can't take it. I don't like it. How do you feel about people being all lovey-dovey in your company? Do you like it? Do you think it's nice? Yes or no? No, Anastasia is saying, yeah, I feel the same. It's kind of, yeah, Jan Jan is saying, no. I mean, you could be lovey-dovey in your, in your own house, right? With your partner, you don't have to. Yeah, it's a bit odd, Monsoor is saying. But um, but that's what people do. I don't think adults do it, though. I think it's it's more teenagers, but I've seen adults being all lovey-dovey as well. So, yeah. Now, um, all ages, Jen is, uh, is saying, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we are just jealous. I don't know. Sometimes, I yeah, Ashik is saying jealous. Maybe we are just jealous because it's a nice feeling, right, to have someone... Uh, you have feelings for with you and the person is affectionate. Yeah, but why in public places? But anyway, so people can be all lovey-dovey and it means that they really show their affection. So as you can see, the relationship was going strong, like really strong. They, of course, had a couple of, you know, lover's tips, like we all do. OK, you can't avoid it. Um, don't know if you can see the image very clearly. So a tiff. Is it a big argument or just a, just a tiny argument, just a disagreement? Is it a, a, a big argument? You think, yeah, just a, just a disagreement. So, you know, a lover's tiff. So they had a couple of those, but they, you know, in the end, uh, they would always make up and and uh, be happy again. So. I was proved to be wrong about Amy and it really turned out to be a match made in heaven. OK, we often say it to talk about people who are just meant to be together and they are very good uh, together. So it was that was it. Now, uh, let's move on to something a little bit more difficult, I think. Let's talk about feelings, guys. So um, I don't know about you, but when I was preparing this, I thought um, when I was preparing the session, I thought there are three different types of feelings, really. You know, when you think about it, um, you have uh, when we, when you think um, of romantic feelings, OK, you get those instantly. Right. So you get those feelings immediately. Um, and then there is another type of romantic feelings uh, that develop over a period of time, right? And to make it even more difficult and complicated, okay, feelings are not um, easy to understand. There is another type of romantic feelings that I'd describe as very strong, almost violent, uh, really intense, but very short lived. So we sometimes have feelings that are really short lived, but very intense and often irrational. Um, so we are going to look at some of these feelings and group them. But before we do that, I'd like you to, um, to watch a video with me. It's only about 20 seconds two videos 
And what I want you to think of, uh, when you watch the video and you listen to the people, okay, decide if uh, it's the case of a feeling that uh, was developed over a period of time, if it's the case of a strong, intense, but short-lived uh, feeling, or whether it's, it's the case of, of, um, of something that developed uh, on the spot. So, so you just felt it immediately. Okay, so let's watch this. I'm sure you, you know this movie. I'm absolutely certain you do. So Jerry Maguire, okay, just let me, two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, ready? You beat me. I'm just as just. Oh, my internet! Hold on, because she's about to say it. You had me at hello. Good. So, um. Okay, uh, I got a message that the video was lagging. Did you get what she said? Um, has anybody got what she said? No? Okay, then. No, okay. Then I'm going to show you. Okay, she said, you had me at hello. Um, I can play it. Um, yeah, I mean, if you can play it, but it's too late now. Okay, she, I revealed the answer. So this video, she said, you had me at hello. So now, is this the case of um, a, a feeling that develops over a period of time um, or a short-lived feeling? Or do you think um, something that happened instantly? So she saw the boy and she immediately uh, felt love. What kind of feeling do you think she's instantly good, Ashik is saying? So when you say this, that you had me at hello, it means immediately, right? And it's a lovely scene. Now, Janice, I have one more video and I really want us to watch it, okay? It's only about um, 50 seconds, but I don't know if you can play it or whether I should play it. I don't know if Janice or Aris... Okay. I, I can play it. Okay, can you play it? Yeah, just play it. And again, the same question. Ah, sent me the link. Okay. Um, it may be easier if I just play it. Okay. I got it. I got it. You have the link? Yes. Yes, I got it. But you've got to watch it, so. Debbie, I'm going to stop sharing from your side. Okay, yeah, just do it. And please enjoy this movie. Uh, it's only a couple of seconds, but it's it's absolutely lovely. I want you to look for the words reveal, pretend, and love in your readers tonight. I want you to be able to spell them on Monday. Tell you what, if everyone does well in their spellings, we might have a DVD next week. Yes! Okay, Arnold.
Thanks. No, I think we can stop. That's it. That's it. Far too much. Thank you. That's all I wanted to show you because that was it was very important for me that you could actually see this. So going back to uh, a slide, this slide. Okay. Um, uh, where is my chat? I can't see the chat again. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So going back, I know Anastasia, it is cute. I mean, every time it's a very short video, it's only 15 minutes. It's absolutely lovely, okay? It's, it's a short film. Anyway, so we already have one example of um, how we talk about this instant, this feeling that we get instantly. We see a boy, we see a girl, and that's how we feel, right? And then you could say, you had me at hello. I love this phrase. Now, how about the second video? What kind of, which type would that be? Instantly, over a period of time, or the last one? So stronger, number three, Anastasia is saying, yes. So uh, what I'm going to show you now is more expressions that we are going to look at. And I'm going to help you with the, um, with the one that we watched. So the boy, you could say, the boy had a crush on the teacher. So um, you saw his face, right? Um, we... To have a crush on somebody is very often, it's very, very strong, but it's really short lived. And uh, very often we, we may even have a crush on someone we don't even know. Like uh, you may not have even spoken to this person, but you, uh, you, you think you have feelings for the person. So in English, you have a crush on someone. Now, can we just very quickly sort this out, okay, and decide which one is which? And let's start with the easiest ones, okay? Like and fancy. Where would you put like and fancy in terms of feelings? Is it something that you, you uh, when you like someone? Number two, Ashik is saying, yeah. And number one, Anastasia, and I'm really, I love this. I love, and oh, and Jan Jan is saying, number three, well, it's really, really nice to see these answers because nothing is clear cut, okay, here. Well, unless you say you had me at hello and that's obvious and to have a crush on someone means it's not going to last. You may not even know the person, but, Many of these are kind of fluid and you can move them between the boxes, but fancy and like, I'd actually put somewhere here. So it's between. So when you fancy or you like someone, uh, it's really to say that you like being with that person, right? So when you fancy someone, it means I like doing things with this person. I like, uh, hanging out with that person so it's not exactly talking about love right how about this so when you are swept off your feet where is it where does it go uh number two ashik says Oh, I would I actually beg to differ, Ashik. I think that when you are swept off your feet, it's because uh, you can't even think straight. Okay, it's I would. It's very similar to you had me at hello. You feel completely overwhelmed. Okay, you are totally in love. You are swept off your feet. It's not something that develops. I don't think. Okay, how about fall in love? Where would you put that? You know, the, the, the boring love. Anastasia says, uh, number one, that's interesting. Anastasia, don't you mean this, to love somebody at first sight? So, um, but when you fall in love, I think it's actually a period of time, right? We are getting a little bit philosophical here, but I think you, you don't, Falling in love is a process. It happens over a period of time. It's opposed to love at first sight. I have another video for you. If we have time, I'll show you again, a very short video about love at first sight. It's lovely. And good. How about this? Um, when you fall for somebody, 
Where would you put that? Uh, Evelina is saying one. Um, it could be actually, I mean, I was more tempted to put it here, but okay, I'm going to compromise. We'll put it, I don't think it's number three. When you fall for somebody, it's deep. Uh, falling, well, actually, you know what, Evelina? I'm changing my mind. Uh, definitely the second one, because falling for someone uh, indicates that very often you may even be reluctant to do that. Like you fight, you want to fight this feeling. You don't want to fall in love, but it's stronger than you. So it's a period of time, we would probably say. And uh, okay, hit it off. I mean, we already had it, so it means on the spot you, the whole idea behind this expression is that it happens immediately. So you meet someone, you just hit it off, okay, and you are good pals. How about, um, good, now let's talk about infatuation. Where would you put that? Number three, Anna is saying, that's it. So when you infatuate it with someone, it's very similar um, to having a crush on someone. They are very, very similar. And just to make it easier on you, same goes for smitten. So when you're smitten by someone, you're smitten with somebody's smile, maybe. Um, it means that you feel it. Um, it's very strong, but it's often most of the time it's short lived okay so when i think of infatuation i think um i think about myself when i was a teenager and i was infatuated with book characters like you know or say celebrities so like it's the teenage crush right on somebody but it never lasts okay and it's very often silly how about puppy love of course, I'm going to answer it for you because that's kind of self-explanatory. And when you think of puppy love, you think of the boy in the video as well. Now, um, uh, let's look. How about get along with someone? When you get, okay, number two, that's it. That's it. I mean, it probably starts immediately, but it's more about a process. Now, how about growing a bond with someone? Number two, good, and my favorite one, okay? My favorite one, because that's exactly my case and it's my relationship. It's not very romantic, but I told you I'm not a romantic person. Now, when somebody grows on you, that's it. So when somebody grows on you, um, indicates that at the beginning, initially, uh, you, you didn't quite like the person and that was the case with me and my husband I didn't quite like my husband I thought you know he was this this and this and I thought like hmm I'm not quite sure if I like the man but then over a period of time he started to grow on me and finally I realized that I was actually falling for him so um, when somebody or something grows on you it's a process okay cool now uh, let's move on and let's go back to our, um, our friend because uh, Peter is now your friend as well. So um, everything was was great. The relationship was was uh, growing and going strong. So Peter decided to commit. Now, and this happened. So my question now is, what, uh, what did he pop? So what do we say in English when somebody is doing this? So he proposed, yeah? Um, let me just give you a little clue. Okay, is it A, B, C? Very good, Anastasia is saying. So he popped the question. So when you pop the question, you propose. That's it. Um, not, not the proposal, is she, this is, that's why it's so tricky. You propose to a girl, but you pop the question and it's exactly the same. 
right now you so you get down on 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 your knee and and you give the girl the ring right how about this one uh, let's move very good anastasia oh anastasia you are very very good okay so you tie the knot so you tie the knot in other words you you get you get let me uh, let me just move this you get very good jen jan okay you get married okay but i want you to think of a synonym because we know get married okay the point is to take it beyond um, getting married to learn new vocabulary so uh a that's it ashik very good so you get hitched so peter popped the question and then he you know they got hitched they tied the knot they got married in other words and one last thing okay they had they had a this is the wedding that i attended again my question is what kind of ceremonies see low numbers no jing jing no good low key very good it's a low key ceremony and it means that um it was just nice and small and only for for the people you you for the family and 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 the friends good okay i'm just being mindful of uh, time i have a quiz for you i overplant again oh guys now i um there's so much vocabulary that i want to share with you and uh okay okay let's do let's do this now um so peter and amy got hitched now they really had a good marriage okay so um very very quickly now you are going to tell me if it's g or d g means good d means difficult so uh to describe a relationship okay as hollow is it good or is it good is it's difficult oh come on come on come on come on very good so hollow means empty right so a hollow relationship is a relationship you don't want to be uh be in how about hostile uh difficult very good how about caring good how about tense uh difficult solid solid is good supportive is good trained uh, difficult. We will come back to these words. Uh, tight knit. So tight knit, you would probably uh, refer to the family. So a tight knit family, very close. Yeah. Distant. Very good. Difficult. We actually talk about people. So people in the relationship uh, can grow distant. Insincere. Very good, difficult. So an insincere relationship. When pe when say I say to my husband, oh yes, yes, um, I say something nice, I support him, but it's all just words. I don't mean it, right? Stable is get married. Very good. Now, so um, I just want to um tell you about Peter that um the relationship as stable as solid as it was it didn't withstand pressures of the daily life. So this is what happened, okay? As you can see, with it, flowers, that's what happened. So um, what do you think is missing here? The feelings started to, to wear, I'm going to help you, choose one of these. The feelings, not out, not Jen Jan, not, not out. You have a way of down, up. Very good, Ashik. So the feelings started to wear off. And uh, wearing off means that it was not, um, it didn't happen um, overnight. 
it was a gradual process. When things wear off, it means that they slowly become weaker and weaker and weaker. Not just feelings, but we we can use it to talk about feelings. Their feelings started to wear off. It's because they didn't also they didn't try to jazz their relationship to make the relationship more interesting to introduce some fun to very good oh no 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 um is it a way very good so they uh they didn't try to jazz up their relationship at all so it was just too stable maybe because you know a solid and a stable relationship it's all good but we occasionally we need to um jazz it up right because otherwise it becomes maybe maybe i mean i don't want to be an agony aunt here and advise you on relationships but so what happens is that um this all the courtship all the wooing had stopped and um they the relationship they've grown um, distant. Uh, so the, re the relationship was tense and strained and hollow and insincere. This is where they got. And to make it even stronger, in English, we use adverbs, okay, when we, when we use adjectives like that. So you could say that uh, it was utterly, the relationship was utterly hollow. It was empty, okay? The two people had nothing to um, um, to talk about, right? It was, it was completely um, insincere. It was totally tense, totally hollow. So very, very sad. Now, oh God it's time 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 and i have two quizzes for you as well maybe i can just send them to you as homework very very quickly let's do this okay so what do you think happened oh come on can you see these because i can't see the i don't know why but i can't see they hit ah they hit problems right and they were going through a rough patch. I'm giving you the answers, but it's only because we are running out of time. They slowly drifted apart and lost closeness. Peter had a fling. Uh, what's the synonym of fling, anybody? Anybody put it in the chat so I know that you know. Uh, <laughs> Jan Jan is saying, very good, I think. Yeah, so Peter had a flink. He had another, he found another, uh, another girl uh, on the site. They managed to patch things up for a short time. So patching things up, right, putting it together. Um, but Unfortunately, um, the marriage didn't survive and they separated, right? All the answers are correct. Now, um, before, before we have, before we finish, I really want you to do this revision with me, okay? Uh, let's just do it together. I know it was, huh? Okay. Hello? Sorry, I just something happened here and uh, I so um, let's do it together. So uh, what's the preposition to get set set Anybody set 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 from the beginning of the lesson you get set up very good and it means that friends help you find a partner. That's it. Then when you go on the date, you may get, very good stood up again yeah the person doesn't come um you could be leading somebody on very good may is saying now people often drift drift apart that's it 
um, if they have problems, they go, they go very good through a rough patch, but they can patch things. They can patch things up. Oh, we have quite a few apps. Uh, now, um, uh, patch things up, yeah? So you make it uh, all fine, okay? You kind of, um, uh, when, okay, let's, let's move on because, and to hit it, when you, that's it, to hit, I can see Anastasia likes it. I like this expression a lot. Now, remember the boy, he had a crush on the teacher. So he was infatuated with the teacher. Um, he was, let's look at number 12. Um, he was smitten, Ashik is saying, by the teacher, very good. He was completely smitten by the teacher. Now, feelings can wear, wear, wear off that's it oh do we have off yeah we do have off um but uh so feelings can wear off now you fall come on come on come on that's it you fall for somebody i really like this expression um you could be swept or or swept of your feet okay this one f cover and uh, somebody like my husband can grow. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I can see that this one is tricky. Grow, Anastasia is saying, grow on you. Very good. So someone grows, on, something grows on you. And to chat somebody up, Anastasia is saying, oh, this is now tricky. Oh, I can't do it up and to just something up, very good. And it means, it doesn't have to be a relationship. You can jazz up almost anything. And it means that something that's plain and boring and no longer interesting, you make it more interesting. It could be an item of clothing. It could be a room in your house. It could be, it could be your car. So it, you can jazz up almost anything. Now, we have to finish now, um, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm really, really sorry. Um, okay, now, thank you all for being here today. I really hope you've learned something. Um, it was super fast, but I really hope um, some of this language is going to stay with you.